What is going on, you guys? I'm currently at work at my minimum wage job, struggling to survive. But we got a Katy Perry reaction coming, and I filmed some stuff on and off just beforehand, before my reaction, because I'm not, I have not heard the song, I have not seen the video, and I have thoughts on it. I'll say them after this clip because I already recorded it. But let's see, what is this Katy Perry song like? Considering it's produced by a rapist, a sexual abuser, and a pretty nasty person, I guess my take on it's going to be that it's pretty bad, especially because Women's World was not it. I have more to say after that. It'll be it'll be bonus clips, but uh, gotta get home. And, and I have a few bonus clips explaining why I'm filming this at work because I, unfortunately, I did not know I worked. I also expected the song to come out much later in the night, not at like randomly at 4 p.m. But I it, I was on the bus when it when this popped up on my screen. I said, Katie, what the fuck. And I was excited to react to it because I posted my reaction to Women's World, which originally was rumored to have Madonna on it, which, thank God, Madonna was not on that song. Oh, my God. A song called Women's World made by a known abuser of women? What? And regardless of what anyone says, regardless of what any living person says, Kesha was lying. Even if she was lying, even if you, in your really messed up mind, think she was lying, she... Claim, made sexual assault claims and he still forced her to work with him for many albums making him money profiting off of her i don't understand how in anyone's mental capacity they could think that's a that's a, what a good person does tweeting pictures of her sleeping saying his his employees work hard it's just gross man it's just gross or artists or whatever the hell he said it's just nasty here's my reaction to the song am i excited to hear it i love katie perry sure i'm excited to hear it but am I going to like it? No. There'll be a bunch of bonus clips that I already filmed while I'm at work. But guys, what a day it's been. I did not expect the song to release at 4 p.m. I was on the bus when this popped up on my phone. I said, what the hell? I thought it came out tonight or tomorrow on Friday. Oh, well. I love you. Not going to like the song. Going to be repulsed at a Dr. Luke produced, or as I call him, Dr. Puke produced. But let's see how it is. And Katie, your Katie cat, this, this little gay boy, Miss Madame Rose Beef, I've never been more disappointed in you, ever. I love Daisies. It's one of my favorite Katy Perry songs. I had the signed vinyl. It's one of my favorites. And because that whole era was flopped, never really over, love that song. Daisies, love that song. Two, great, two of my favorite, most favorite Katy Perry songs. And they weren't Dr. Puke produced. And I loved that so much. Why would she choose to work with a rapist once it's safe to work with him? Because her and Ke him and Kesha's legal battles are over it's just disgusting here's my reaction and there'll be a ton of bonus clips of me both on the bus and also on my way to work but guys katie you, it's not it girl it's not it girl i also posted a tiktok too so follow your bitch on tiktok follow me on twitch and subscribe <laughs> and i hope you know i love you i'm just as someone that was a katie perry fan i i, I say in the bonus clip the firework the firework music video meant everything to me as a little gay boy in a town of less than a thousand people i love that scene in that music video was just amazing and it's just it's it's just so disheartening and just so disappointing. Let's see what the song is like. What is going on, you guys? Really quick, we're gonna jump into this Katy Perry reaction. I've hopefully had some intro and some whatever snippets play in the beginning of my thoughts on this video. As you know, I'm a Kesha fanatic. And in case you don't know, here are three of my three VIP Kesha tours for her last tour, the only love tour. Love my girl Kesha. She follows me on Twitter. Her mom follows me on Twitter. Love her, live for her, can I get enough of her? Her music helped save my life. And I'm a huge Katy Perry fan. In fact, as I said, I was a Katy Cat. The Katy Perry firework music video, that gay kiss net video, sparked something so magical in me. I was like, oh my god, maybe it's normal to be queer, or a fag as I keep getting called. Because queer is very a new term, guys. You used to get called a queer all the time, and that was not a nice term. And now everybody's like, well, we fucking love being called queer. It doesn't really make sense to me. Regardless, <laughs> regardless, we're going to be reacting to the Katy Perry music video. And then later tonight, we're reacting to the My Oh My music video by Kylie Minogue, which I'm so excited for. I have quite a few reactions to this already. Anyways, I'm flapping my mouth. Let's get into this Katy Perry reaction and see what we think. It's going to be bad. Katy, I... I love you. I just, I just don't know how you could possibly think. It's J.C. Penny's Super Saturday Coupon Giveaway, starting at. I just don't know how you could possibly think. We already liked the video. We're gonna like it again. Um, I don't. I just don't. I don't know. I just don't know how you could possibly think that it would be okay to do what you're doing. Regardless, Katie's an artist that I love. Let's see what the song's like. Here we go. Let's pray it's better than Woman's World because that was one disturbed, two wrong, and then three bad. Even if the video was cute. I like Trisha Paytas in it. That was kind of iconic. Lifetimes. I'll love you for, I'll love you for life. 
I love you for life. The track list, that was cute. Yeah, it had the album's track list on the billboard. That's really cute, actually. That was smart. There's so many vocal effects. Dr. Puke does that so often, and I don't know why. It's the lyrics are cute. I'll be honest, they are cute. Kind of. It's actually a little dumb, Katie. And ass shot, hello booty. Hello butthole. Ha ha. Love you for life. Lifetimes. Much better than Women's World. And not like a, a fake feminine anthem with a rapist, you know? It's made by a rapist, but it's not a fake feminine anthem. It's okay. I'm not going to say I, I, I hate it, because I do like Katie, but it's, it's still disappointing. And the video is pretty, throwing pizza into a club crowd. Wow. I would have caught that with my mouth. I swear. Haha. Uh -huh. You and me, infinity, infinity. Lifetimes. Let's say queso. James Y. Queso. Love some cheese. Haha, <laughs> I don't know what that said. I love Katie just casually slurping on a ice cream. We love an ice cream moment. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not gonna say it. it's not as bad as Women's World because it's not as gross to me as Women's World. That was sick. And like completely like disconnected from like real life. It was really weird. For a lifetime. It's a cute video. The song is it's okay. It's still disappointing. I'm not ever gonna give Katie a pass. I'm working with Dr. Fucking Puke. But at the same time, at least it's not a feminist anthem with a known abuser. It's a, it's with a known abuser, but at least it's not like pretending like it's something it's it it, it isn't that you know. It's less offensive to me, even if it's so gross. It's directed by Steve Zilly. Oh my god, I watched it say produced by Dr. Puke. It's JC Penny's. <laughs> I imagine if it, if it said it that, I'd be a little angrier man. than than I am. Guys, it was okay. I'm not gonna say that I loved it. I'm not going to say say that it's bad. This makes Women's World seem like an unreleased demo. Women's World was so bad. It was so bad. Aw, and it was written for Katy Perry's daughter, Daisy. That's actually very cute. Like I said, like this 12 trillion times better than Women's World. Guys, as I said, Women's World was offensive and it was most the most bothersome to me because how the fuck, Katie, how the fuck dare you make a song that's pretending it's a female power anthem with a known abuser? That That's basically like looking at Kesha and saying, huh? Really? Did that really happen? It's fucking gross. So, like I said, Lifetimes, still not something I'd be shaking my ass to. I'll listen to it every now and again. Women's World I would never listen to. That was offensive and sick. But you guys let me know what you thought in the comment section. I love you. I've got a Katy Perry, other Katy Perry reaction playlist linked down below. I've got my My Oh My reaction from Kanye Minogue, BB Rex, and Toblo coming in just a few hours. And we'll see, we'll, we'll see what, what Katy Perry's album is going to sound like. Katy Perry... Really, really, really hurt that you'd work with Dr. Puke, but it is what it is. I love you guys so much. Great things are coming. I promise you the best days are ahead. And if you don't believe me, and if you don't believe me, here's a nipple to prove it. I'm a weirdo. <laughs> I love you.
Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please make sure to let me know what you thought in the comments below. I do my best to respond to every single comment. And genuinely, genuinely, please make sure that you subscribe to your bitch and that you follow me on Twitch. I appreciate you. I love you. And I am so, so thankful. I know I sound corny. I know I'm sounding dumb. I'm trying to make a new outro and make everything look a little more professional. Seriously, thank you for watching. I love you. I'm so grateful. And I will see you guys very soon. Love you.